All right, you ready? One mm -hmm. more time. Okay. Here we go. All right, let's do it. Aunt Moira! Aunt Moira, your hair is amazing. Are those highlights? Stop it. Nice. Grandma Betsy! Grandma, stop. You look like you could be named sister. <sighs> what a doll. <laughs> Grandpa Shulman! Fishing, I'd love to. You nailed it. This is Neve, and this is Laura. They just got married nine months after they had their baby Cleo. Oops. Honestly, they have no idea what they're doing. But whatever, they're in love. And, and we're, we're here, here to, to help. help. Relationships are hard enough without your friends and family disapproving of your partner. And that judgment can make things really awkward. So guys, what do you think? Actually, that, that's not bad for him. We need to talk. Everybody knows one. At least one. Whether it's your friends or your family, it feels like someone always has something to say. We have our first email from Sawyer. My boyfriend just started posting pictures of me on Instagram and his ex's friends are being really immature about it. They'll tag his ex in the comments and use things like the sick emoji. <laughs> Should I ask him to talk to his ex about it? You've dealt with this right. in our relationship because a lot. when we started dating and I started posting pictures of you and people started finding out who you were, a lot of my fans who had known me in my past relationship were somewhat disapproving of my new they relationship. They were downright nasty. Did you ever engage? In a weak moment, I would engage. Writing mean things about someone on the internet is disgusting. So I think if he's a great guy, block, delete, unfollow, the whole the whole deal. <laughs> what she said. We got a call. Okay. Hello. Hello. So my best friend is getting really jealous about the fact that I've been hanging out with this guy a lot lately. She brings up like these really nitpicky things about him and he definitely notices that she hates on him a lot. How do I get her to be happy for me? Classic. Age old, I mean, every best friendship goes through this at some point. The type of people that don't allow you to move on and evolve and allow your relationship to evolve, sometimes those types of people are really toxic. True, true, but you also have to consider that she probably doesn't really hate your boyfriend and, and she right. probably is happy for you, but it's, it's shining a light on how unhappy or lonely she might be. Maybe if you were to be a little bit more empathetic, and, oh. and have a talk with her and say like, look, this doesn't change how much you know you mean to me and like, you know, go a little bit out of your way to do some special things with and for her. Right. You could also watch the episode we did about open relationships uh, because that might be an option too. <laughs> I'll definitely tune in. Okay, great, good luck. <laughs> Thank you. Bye Eden. Bye Eden. <laughs> okay, we got another email. This one's from Hunter. Hunter says, I love my girlfriend, but lately, every time we have even the slightest disagreement, I feel like she goes straight to her friends to air our dirty laundry and get shitty advice. How do I get her to stop turning them against me? This happened with us. It does. This is exactly what happened with it us. It does. And let me tell you, Hunter, <laughs> it takes time. You are going to individually have to win over <laughs> All of those friends, not only by being the best boyfriend you can be to your girlfriend, but also by making an effort to be friendly and reach out and really show them that you're a good guy and deserving of her love. Yeah, you gotta work on this one because when you're talking to your friends, like, yeah, no one wants to hear you right. bragging about how great everything is. So when something goes down, when there's like a fight or some drama, right. you're like bringing new content in that's a little gossipy and kind of fun. And like Hunter, rather than being upset, he should feel good about himself because he's providing quality gossip content for his girlfriend and her friends. Hell hath no fury like a woman's friends. <laughs>